Activated. It says this next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you.
feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad, but impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. Jerry! No, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more... What? Jerry, you can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math.
I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise, with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! 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 Come on, I'm closing the door. Okay, quick recap. We are escaping. All right, that's what's happening now. We're escaping. Uh, so you're doing great. Just keep running. Uh, quick word about the future plans that I've got in store. We're going to shut down her turret production line, all right? Turn off her neurotoxin and then confront her. Again, though, for the moment, run! This way, this way! The irony is you're almost at the last test. Here it is. Why don't you just do it? Trust me, it's an easier way out than whatever asinine plan your friend came up with. Oh, what? How, how stupid does she think we are? Yeah. 
You made it through. Well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. At least she can't touch us back. What's that mean? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay, all right. So, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Oh, for God's sake, they told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Mad. Ooh, it's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night, you can still hear the screams of their replicas, all of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident, nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in a meaningful way. Let's keep moving, the factory entrance must be around here somewhere. Careful, careful. Wait, careful, let me light this jump for you. This looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Careful, careful. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story. You might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing. But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I wouldn't say smelly. Just, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. A bit insensitive. The smelly humans. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing, but uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism. Ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, no, I wouldn't say smelly. Just, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. A bit insensitive. Uh, the smelly humans. get you out of that room. Can you reach that wall back there? Okay, there's another wall over here. Oh, I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look is great. And their folklore. Wonderful and very colourful. Take this rail down the back way. See you at the ball. Good luck. <laughs> 